Hi guys, welcome back to another great episode with Car Talks. Now, sun is shining. I'm out here in the Hyundai Tucson. This is a petrol engine in black. It's got the 19 inch rims and it's got pretty well spec to be honest. This has got a reversible camera and it's got parking sensors, which today it seems to come out in most cars as options that are not needed for add-ons. But yeah, it's a pretty snazzy car, every day, fusible. I've gone for a quick drive in it, and yes, it is a very, very comfortable car. I'm gonna show you inside. Let's go. Start you off going on the passenger side. So we've got these sort of foam sports seats, but I love this uh, blue sort of stitching throughout, which looks really good. It's kept the stitching here on the uh, on the gear stick, but it does feel a little bit cheap, a little bit plastic. But you, I guess, pay for what you get. Um, standard stuff like that cup holder in the side so that's all pretty standard um, if we go around the driver's side I'll show you a bit more so we've got all the various mirrors and stuff which is standard it's got cruise control it's got your various car stuff so I'll turn it on this is auto obviously so if you look on the normal menu here, it's got a quick guide, radio, media. So it has got Apple Play, but I haven't got that set up. So it won't let me click into it, but um, it's got your current position. You can touch screen, slide it across. So you go to navigation. That's on like all menus. If you go to home here, it gives you a sub menu and a bit of the nav. And then you got your my menu, which there's currently nothing on that. Um, if you go to all menus again, you can go to the phone or you've got these buttons here which are pretty self-explanatory you press radio it comes to your radio you go to media there's no media files current if you go to your map it's very very clear and that's the same as sort of if you want to go and navigate somewhere you click into there and you just do your route as usual down here standard heat seat stuff your fan your usb down there there's nothing actually in this cubby hole beside me it's just a little bit of it's actually very small storage. Um, parking sensor drive modes, if you want it to be a bit sportier, you're not gonna get a lot in this car. But I think if we go for a spin, you'll be pleasantly surprised. Through the boot, I have got the seats down currently, but as you can see, there's a good amount of room in the back here. I'll show you another view from the side. Tinted windows. So if I pull that back, so you can kind of see, you can use it as a single, like usual, or a double. It's kept this nice blue stitching throughout. It's pretty basic in the back here, but I think if I was to sit in, if you look, there is plenty of room in the back, and I've actually got quite a lot of room in the front and I've got good visuals around. I think one thing, the windows are a little bit small in the back and actually the windows, if you look, are a little bit high in the front, in my opinion. I'll show you more once we go for a drive, but that's just how I feel. But generally the seats are very comfortable to drive in. Let's go, let's go for a spin. Inside the 1.6 litre T GDI, Hyundai Tuscan. The 1.6 litre T DGI Tuscan, uh, sorry, Hyundai Tuscan, sitting inside with the petrol automatic. It seems like a comfortable drive. I've been in the car all day today. Oh, a little bit of a beat, reversing camera, it's quite nice. Um, I've got to say I've got some pros and cons. My pros are the visibility is terrible. Um, well, it's not terrible, it's not just not very good. Um, there's a really, really big lag on the gearbox. 
and it just doesn't seem to have a great performance. It's got 176 horsepower, which isn't bad, but for a 1.6 turbocharged en uh, engine, and this car sitting in at between 20 and 30 thousand pounds, depending on obviously how you spec it, the engine you go for, etc. Uh, this car is a very big competitor to the Ford Cougar and also the Nissan Qashqai which they're around the 25 mark also obviously depending on how you spec them as well this car it has got good sat nav it's got a comfortable seat position I've been driving it all day I don't feel uncomfortable in it the ride is very good but it's got a lot of road noise which is I think is a little bit of a shame um, because actually it performs really well for the style of car and for the price you're paying for it it's very affordable for anyone who's looking for a cash car uh, sorry who's not looking for a cash car but still wants to stick to a high on die um, but it seems a little cheap, but I guess you get what you pay for at the end of the day. I'm actually quite surprised this car gives quite a hard ride for SUVs. I've always thought of them as being really uncomfortable. Uh, sorry, what am I saying? I've always thought of them as being really comfortable cars, um, which this is a comfortable car. I mean, in terms of you feel like you're just going to cruise along the motorway or any sort of road, really. And that's kind of, you don't generally get loads of feedback or I haven't had that experience um, this car says to claim a mile per gallon of about 35 which that all depends on obviously the, the conditions how warm the tires are all that sort of side of things so I think realistically you're probably going to get late 20s in this particular engine the diesel models they I believe get closer to 60 miles per gallon which is fantastic I think that's about it really I mean you can sort of hear some of the road noise it's a shame this car doesn't have a, a sunroof so it lets in a little bit, a little bit more light but it's very light in the front but imagine being in the back the windows aren't very big it can be kind of feel like a dark place and they've got this stupid you might not see over my head this stupid stupid anchor for the middle seat so you plug in one side and you plug in the other. So I think that, for me, irritates me when I'm looking in the rear view every time. I'm thinking, what is that? What is that? But that's just my preference. Uh, boot space is decent. So if you've got a family, you can get plenty of things in this range. I think you're looking at a good car here. I, th I, mean, I haven't been in a uh, cash guy, but I can imagine this being a good contender but actually as a car itself, I've been told this is a lot better. You can take this feedback and potentially go buy yourself a new or second-hand Hyundai Tuscan. Plus, the brakes are pretty good. Hi guys, thanks for watching another great episode with Car Talks. I hope you liked this video. Uh, if you haven't already, please do subscribe to the button here. And obviously, if you haven't seen any of our videos before, please click up here. If you want to, please like that button, give it a smash, and we'll see you next time. I hope you enjoyed the ride.